right, I'll quickly jump back in the F18 for a little footnote on that last uh, video I did on the Fleetboard and the LST function. Uh, I've got some MAVFs loaded with me today, and I was curious to see uh, how they would work with the in conjunction with that uh, Fleetboard and the LST. Now, MAVFs are not laser guided, so they're not going to be guided uh, by the JTAC, but in this case the Predator, uh, that's coming up ahead of me. Uh, but what I can do is find that target uh, with the flare pod and uh, once I got him, designate him and slave him over to the MAVF. So that's the plan. So let's get squared away. I've got the master arm already on. Um, I'm just going to put, uh, where is it, flare pod on and LST on like I was doing in the previous video. Uncage it. And I'm also going to hit MAVF up here twice. And that will bring up the seeker head uh, with the video which is caged at the moment. Now, the first time you do that is a countdown time, and I've already done that because uh, to save time. But the first time you do it, you will have an alignment process. So, waypoints coming up here. Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, just under 20 miles, uh, which is on, oh, just over 20 miles. Now I've got the predator drone. This one here is in a valley as opposed to the last one, so I'm not sure how I'm going to go with picking it up with the um, with the LSD laser spot search, so I'm going to make that soy. Uh, one thing I did find by accident, if I press cage uncage, it actually goes to the LSD function straight away, so I don't even have to press it. So I just pick that up, it's kind of cool. Uh, I've got a waypoint box at the moment, so I know it's in that direction. Now, how this is going to work, once it picks up the lays, uh, I'm going to designate that target. Once I get that designated, I'm going to switch over my, what's already done, I'm going to switch over to the soy uh, on the left EDI and it's going to slave that map. So let's just zoom in, there he is there, let's designate him. Now I'm going to switch over to my left EDI, it's uncaged automatically, let's get off autopilot and that is not locked currently, I probably should have, yeah, I'll just do narrow field of view and hopefully that will lock shortly. And that's tracking that target which I just uh, found by the leaves, I'm not sure what, what range am I to it, 8 miles, there it is, it's locked, rifle, off. And that is hopefully going in on this target. This poor lonely truck. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't mask myself here. Now this is pretty slow. Well, maps in general, so it takes a little while to get down there. And hopefully get a shack very soon. There we go. So that is how you can use that um, LST and FLIR function uh, using the JTAC or in that case the Predator's drone with the MAVFs. Uh, if you'd ever been in that situation, not so sure, but um, I'm more of a can you do it rather than uh, what's uh, normal. <laughs> um, Alright, let's run in. I've got a few more. Uh, so, incidentally, um, I had made the mistake having this box when I was trying to uncage this uh, MAV uh, yesterday, so if I press the uncage nasal steering button, it uncages it, puts in snowplow mode, and then twice put it in uh, VBSL mode, back to snowplow mode. So let's see if I can pick up another target down there. Um, Alright, so let's turn in, let's go and so zoom out. Move on to the waypoint, which is there. Not sure which valley it is now. 
Uh, I'm going to put into laser spot search. And hopefully that will track. Oops, oops, press the wrong button. Let's try that again. There we go. It's got another target. I'm going to designate him. It's uncaged already on the left DDI. Switch it over to it and rifle easy as you like. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, I've had the Mavis, no need, it would have just like lined it up and Bob's your uncle, but uh, yeah, just another way of doing it. Maybe you get caught in um, halfway through a mission to assist and you've only got Mavis with you. But yeah, hope that was useful and I'm leaving it there.